Today, I am gonna show you how to build your own grocery store in Minecraft, stocked with loads of different foods. And if you do enjoy this tutorial, please smash that like button as it would help me out hugely and I'd appreciate that. But with all that said, let's get building. Here are all the materials that you will need for this build. And the plot of land you will need is 37 by 54 blocks. So first up, I'm gonna grab myself some green concrete. And then just moving to the bottom left hand corner, just there, just from this second block, I'm gonna go across 20 blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And on that 20th block, I'm just gonna place one green concrete just there. And then just moving around, I'm gonna add another concrete behind that. And I'm just gonna build this up so it's 11 blocks in total. And then I'm gonna leave a gap of eight and I'm just gonna repeat what I've done again. So just building the pillar up just until it's level with our other one. And then just at the top, I'm just gonna join these together. And the next, I'm gonna grab myself some oak planks and then just come to the left hand side here on this block, I'm gonna go up five blocks. I'm just gonna mirror that on this side as well. And then I'm gonna place another block and then this time I'm gonna go across just to the other end there. And then I'm just gonna extend this up to the top. And then for our grocery store logo, I'm gonna grab myself some lime terracotta and I'm also gonna grab myself some yellow concrete. And then first, just starting with our green concrete, starting from this block just here, I'm gonna go across five blocks. And then just on this block, I'm gonna go across five that way. And then with some yellow concrete on this block, I'm gonna go across five the other way, just on top there. For a nice logo there. And then moving to the right hand side, first I'm gonna grab some yellow concrete, and I'm just gonna place one just there. And then I'm gonna leave a gap of three, and then this time I'm gonna place some lime terracotta just there. And then I'm just gonna alternate this another two times. So you should end up with something like this. But then on the end, I'm also gonna add an extra yellow concrete there as well. And then I'm just gonna build all these points up so they're five blocks high in total. And then moving around, returning to our lime terracotta, I'm gonna leave another gap of three and then another pillar of lime terracotta just there. And then another gap of three and then a pillar of yellow as well. And then I'm gonna leave another gap of three. And then on this block, I'm gonna add some oak planks and, and I'm gonna go across 19 blocks in total. So including this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, just there. And if you've done this right, you should be two blocks away from the main border just there. And then I'm just gonna build this wall up so it's five blocks high in total. And then once this wall has been built up, just moving around from this point, I'm gonna build this going all the way across, just until I line up with this yellow pillar on the other side, just there. And then again, I'm gonna build this wall up so it's five blocks high. And then once that's done, moving back to our green concrete, I'm gonna place another two blocks just there. And I'm just gonna build this up again so it's 11 high in total. So we're just mirroring what we've done on that side over there. And then I'm gonna leave the same gap that we've done on that side. And then again, build up another pillar of 11. And then just join in these two points together. And then moving back to our oak planks, I'm gonna do a strip just on either side. And then going up six blocks, and on that sixth block, just gonna extend some more oak planks across there. And then I'm just gonna fill in the rest of this top section. And then after that, I'm gonna grab myself some yellow concrete and then just in this top row, I'm gonna place a strip just there. And I'm just gonna extend this out by another four blocks. And then just moving back to the front area here, 
with some more green concrete. From this point, firstly, I'm just going to build this going all the way up. What is it with these invisible blocks? And then from this point, I'm going to leave a gap of three. And then I'm going to place one yellow concrete and then another gap of three and then some lime terracotta. And then I'm just going to build these up to the five high in total. And then I'm going to leave a final gap of three and then this time with some green concrete. Place some of that just there. And then I'm going to add one more block on top and then extend this across to meet with the big wall there. And then I'm just going to extend the rest of this wall up all the way along. And then after that, I'm just going to fill in this area here, connecting this bit along with this bit. You should end up with something like this. And then if I just move back to the front. And then with some more green concrete firstly. From this point I'm going to build this going all the way across. Just on top of these pillars. Just until the end just there. And then rotating around. I'm going to build this along this side as well. And then I'm also going to bring this along the back until I meet there and then I'm just going to figure this outer edge by one more so I'm just going to do this going all the way around so this is just to create some sort of overlap and the next up just going all the way over here to this point specifically I'm just going to build this going all the way across just until I reach the other end just there. And then I'm just going to build this wall up all the way to that point over there. Which should leave you with something like this. And then just moving to this point here, I'm going to go across 17 blocks in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17 just there so it should line up with the edge of this window just there and then i'm just going to build this up i'm just going to build this whole wall and then once that's done from this point i'm just going to build along to meet with this edge just there and then i'm just going to build this whole section up all the way to the top and the next up with some green concrete i'm just going to fill in all of these hollow areas in the roof And the next up, let's add some skylights. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass just here. So firstly, for our entrance skylight, I'm going to go across three blocks just on the top here. And I'm going to go across seven in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the eighth block, I'm going to destroy one just there. And then I'm going to destroy a, another two just above. And then I'm going to go across another five. And then I'm just going to fill in this whole area with some glass and I'm moving to the main section here from this point I'm going to go across five blocks in total and on that fifth block I'm going to go up I'm going to go up by seven so one two three four five six seven on the eighth block I'm just going to destroy that just there and then I'm going to destroy another two above that and then another two rows left hand side of it just there and then I'm just going to fill this with some glass and the next I'm going to go up by five. And then on the sixth block, I'm going to destroy another square just there. Fitting that with some more glass. Then another gap of five and on the sixth block. Again, repeating that same process just there. And then I'm just going to add another two rows of these skylights, leaving a five block gap in between them all. So with all the skylights in, we can now add our windows. But before I do that, let's get the floor done as well for the inside. So first, I'm going to grab some cyan terracotta for this. And then firstly, just in between the gaps where each window is going to be, I'm just going to replace this with some of this cyan terracotta. Just going all the way around. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of this floor with it as well. And that will make the inside look something like this. I've also done the floor for this little section here as well. So for the windows, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass panes here. And firstly, let's just fill up these first three side windows first. 
And then just for our entrance, I'm going to place five glass panes just on either side to start with. Then I'm also going to place an extra one just on the bottom, just there. And then I'm going to grab myself an oak fence and place one of these on top of each of these panes. And then with some more black stained glass, just going to place three on top of each of these fences, just there. And that will give us our entrance. And then I'm just going to fill up the rest of these windows with some more of this glass. And the next up, for some extra detail, I'm going to grab myself some oak slabs. And then firstly, just on this block just did, this top yellow one, I'm going to place one oak plank slab there. And I'm just going to extend this going all the way across. And then also round. Just until I meet up with the oak wall just there. And then moving down just half a block, I'm going to place another slab there. And continue this trail, but in the other direction. Just until I meet up with this green wall just there. So we are one step closer to getting on with the inside. But before I do that, let's get the car park all done. So firstly, just using this yellow guide that I marked out at the start. With some smooth stone, I'm just going to replace that guide with all of it. And then once that all has been replaced, from this point here, I'm going to place four smooth stone. And I'm just going to extend this across all the way to the end over there. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself some grey concrete. And then just on this point, I'm going to replace this 11 blocks. Just going all the way across. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of this area with all of this grey concrete here. And then for some parking spaces, I'm going to grab myself some white concrete this time. And then from this point, I'm going to leave a gap of three. And then I'm going to build a row of five white just along this side. And then I'm just going to leave a gap of three in between them. I'm just going to repeat this pattern going all the way along just to create our individual spaces there. And that'll give us a nice little car park just there. And the next up for our trolley section here. So for this, let's grab myself some green concrete. And then just using this kind of third parking space from the right firstly i'm going to place four green concrete just leaving a gap of three in between them all and then i'm going to grab myself an oak fence and then i'm going to place just two fences on top of each green concrete just there and then i'm going to grab myself some oak slabs and then from this point i'm going to build across just joining these two together i'm just going to mirror that on this side and the next, I'm going to grab myself some yellow concrete and also some more black stained glass. And then just at the front and at the back, I'm going to add a row of three yellow concrete just there. And then with some black stained glass, I'm just going to fill the middle with that. And then I'm also going to grab myself some black stained glass panes as well. And then I'm just going to place three in between these gaps just there, leaving this front bit empty for our entrance. And now we need trolleys for this. So for the trolleys, I'm going to grab myself a rail and a minecart. And first thing, I'm going to place four rails just there with some minecarts on them. And then for some handles, I'm going to grab myself an oak gate. And I'm just going to place these just behind each minecart just there for a nice little trolley design. And then one final detail before we do the interior, I'm going to grab myself some oak leaves. I'm just going to place some nice bushes on the outside. And there's no specific way of doing this. It's kind of just doing it where you feel is best. But I'm going to place maybe one row along the front here. Maybe another row. Just at the end there. And then coming around, I might do another kind of like bigger bush that's just scattered along the wall just there. And I might do another one just at the back there as well. And I might also add some more just at the back as well. And first up, just coming inside here. Firstly, just at this wall here, I'm going to go across two blocks. And then on this third block, I'm going to destroy a row up and another one next to that. And this is going to be the doorway for our little storage room. And then I'm also going to grab myself some black stained glass panes. And I'm just going to place five on the right hand side, just there. And the next up, this supermarket needs some light. So for that, I'm going to grab myself a lantern. 
and some chains. And then firstly, just to this entrance area with some chains, starting from this block here, I'm going to place one, two, three chains just there. I'm going to leave a gap of five, place another three chains there as well. And then I'm going to leave a gap of two in between and I'm going to place another two sets of chains just there. And then on the end of them, I'm going to add some lanterns. And then to light up our main area, using the lanterns again, firstly, using this window as a guide, I'm going to go across just three blocks. And on that third block, I'm going to place one lantern just there. And then going across, I'm just going to place one lantern almost in the middle point of each of these windows. And then just three on the end there. And then moving back to this first lantern we placed, I'm just going to go across four blocks, turn around, and then I'm going to go across just until I meet up, line up with the middle of that window there. And then I'm just going to place one lantern just there. And then moving across, I'm going to place another lantern just kind of aligned with this middle bit of the window just there. And leaving another gap, another lantern just there as well. I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way along. So it's kind of like an alternating kind of thing, just like this. So then again, I'll place another lantern just there. So just, ev just evenly distributing them across each of these windows. So once all the lights are placed, it should look something like this where they're alternating with each other. And the next time I need to light up this storage room because it's producing too many bats. So firstly, just from this point here, I'm going to go across diagonally three, then place one chain there. I'm going to do the same on the other side here, and then I'm going to place another chain just there. I'm going to extend these down so they're three in total, and then another lantern just on the ends here. Then I'm going to leave a gap of four, place another chain, another gap of four, and then one chain there as well. And then I'm going to leave a gap of two in between them as well. And I'm just going to extend each of these points by another two chains. And, and then on the end of each of these chains, I'm going to add a lantern. Just there. Next up, we can start decorating our supermarket. So first up, just for our entrance area here, I'm going to grab myself some oak stripped wood. And I'm also going to grab myself some melon and some pumpkins to begin with. And I'm moving to this back wall firstly, just on this second block, I'm going to place four chipped wood just there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of two and place another four just there as well. And then on this first podium, I'm going to add four melons just there. And then on the next one with some pumpkins, I'm going to add four here as well. And next up for the till section. Oh, and also with some more oak planks just on this green bit, I'm just going to replace that just to neaten it off a little bit more. But yeah, so for the till section, firstly, I'm going to grab myself some yellow concrete to begin with. And then starting from this point here, I'm going to leave a gap of two, and then I'm going to place one yellow concrete just there, and then another one. And then I'm going to leave a gap of two, and then place another two yellow concrete just there. And the next up, I'm going to leave a gap of one, and then I'm going to go across by another four blocks. I'm just going to mirror that on this other side, just there. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself some black wool. And I'm going to place four along that side there. And then four along the other side as well. For our little conveyor belt for our checkout. And then next, just on the ends here, I'm going to grab myself an oak trap door and place two trap doors on the ends as well. And the next with some more black wool, I'm just going to extend these by one more. And then I'm going to place one trap door just in the gap there. And the same on the other side. Just to the bit where the shopkeeper will enter. And then just on these end sections, let's grab some grey carpet. I'm just going to place four carpet on the ends. Just here. And then for a laptop design, I'm going to grab myself an iron pressure plate. And I'm also going to get myself an oak sign and a painting. And then firstly, I'm going to place one iron pressure plate just in front of each of these trap doors here. And then I'm going to add an oak sign just behind each of these. And then while shifting, I'm going to add and painting for a laptop screen just there. And then for an actual tilt, I'm going to get some stone brick stairs and just place one of these just on either side. And then I'm also going to grab myself some black stained glass and I'm just going to place two just behind the stone brick stair just there. And then on the end for a tilt sign, I'm going to place two oak fences just there. And then on top of these, I'm going to get myself some black concrete. And 
And then I'm just going to number each of these for each of the tills just there. And then for the entrance to the main supermarket, I'm just going to place one glass pane on either side, just on this end there. And then just to block this area off, I'm going to place some glass panes just in that gap there. So for our first set of shelves, I'm going to grab myself some light grey concrete, some quartz stairs, and some carpet. And then starting from this block, I'm going to build up four blocks. I'm going to leave a gap of two, and then continue these pillars another three times all the way along. And then in between these gaps, I'm just going to add some quartz stairs. And then just to neaten that off with some light grey carpet, I'm going to place some on top just there. And then next up for the fruit and veg sections here. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some oak wood. Some shipped oak wood just there. And I'm also going to grab myself a composter. Some oak stairs and an oak slab as well. And then from this point, I'm going to leave a gap of three. And then on this block, I'm going to add one oak stair just there. Leaving a gap and another oak stair on the other side there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of two and then repeat that. And then I'm going to leave a gap of two and then just repeat what I've done on that side here as well. And then with some stripped oak wood, I'm just going to fill in these gaps with them. And I'm also going to fill in these middle sections as well. And then moving to our composters, I'm just going to add three of these just surrounding the stripped oak wood just there. And then finally with an oak slab, I'm just going to place these on top of each stripped oak block just there and that'll be where all of our fruit and veg will be placed and then moving to this back wall i'm going to do the same shelf design as what i've done over there so again from this block just here i'm going to go up four then i'm going to leave a gap of two just in between them so i'm just going to build three more pillars just there but but then this end one i'm going to extend it out by one more and then moving back to our court stairs just fill these up And the next up for the fridge section. So for some fridges, firstly from this point, I'm going to leave a gap of two and then I'm just going to build up four blocks. I'm just going to repeat this going all the way along just until I meet the corner here. And then when I'm at the corner, I'm just going to double that just there. And then just moving around, leaving that gap of two, I'm going to build another three sections just here. So I'm thinking these four are going to be for the fridges and then these three are going to be for the freezers. So firstly, for the fridges, I'm going to grab myself some blue ice. And I'm just going to fill the back of these up with all of it. And then for the bottoms, I'm going to grab myself a block of iron and place two of these in these gaps. Just there. And then I'm going to grab myself a quartz slab as well and place three rows of two in each section. Just there. And the next up for our freezers here. So for this, I'm going to add two blue ice just at the back to begin with. And then with some more block of iron, place another two in between these gaps. And then with some quartz stairs, I'm going to place six of these just in these gaps just here. And the next, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass. And I'm also going to grab myself a stone brick wall as well. So for a little freezer door design, I'm going to place three glass panes just on the left-hand side there. And then I'm going to place one on the top and the bottom. And then with a stone brick wall, just going to fill that in there. And that'll give us a nice freezer door just there. And then I'm just going to repeat this for the other two freezers. And again, just to neaten all these shelves off, with some more light grey carpet, I'm just going to top all of these off with it. And the next up for our little bakery area here. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some more stripped oak wood. And this time, I'm going to grab myself some spruce slabs. And then just on the left-hand side, I'm going to place four stripped oak just there. And then leaving a gap of five, I'm going to place another pillar just there. And then with some spruce slabs, I'm going to place five at the bottom. And then just five at the top there as well. And the next for the meat section here. So for the meat section, I'm going to grab myself some light grey concrete again. And firstly, just on the end here, I'm going to place two blocks just there. And then I'm just going to extend along the back. And then I'm going to place one more block at the front.
just on the right hand side there and then i'm also gonna grab myself some more blue ice and i'm just gonna fill in this section just there and the next lot i'm gonna grab myself an iron jap door and i'm just gonna place these all in front and then i'm gonna grab myself some redstone torches and firstly i'm just gonna dig down two blocks all the way along here and also these blocks as well and i'm just going to place redstone torches underneath each of these trap doors and that'll flip them up just neatening off our meat counter just there and the next up for another set of shelves i'm going to grab myself some more light gray concrete and then just on this point i'm just going to place two just there and extend this up there's four high in total and then i just want it to line up with these shelves over there so I'm going to leave a gap or two and build these up. I'm just going to repeat this another three times just there. And then I'm just going to fill up all these shelves again with some more quartz stairs. And the next up for some little chest freezers. So I'm going to start off with some light grey concrete and then coming over to this area here. From this point, I'm going to go across four blocks in total. And on that fifth block, I'm going to place one light grey concrete there and then another one as well and then i'm just going to leave a gap of four and then place another two on the other side and then i'm going to leave a gap of three here and then place another two a gap of four and another two for another freezer and then from this point i'm going to leave a gap of three and then place another set of blocks just there as well so that'll give us three chest freezers in total and then if i grab myself a block of iron again i'm just going to replace the floor in between these areas or the bottoms of our freezers and the next time i'm going to grab some iron trap doors and i'm just going to place six along each side make sure you're facing the side as you place them just so they flip up in the right direction when we add the redstone torches and then just doing the same thing that we've done with the meat section again just for each of these set of trap doors i'm going to dig down two blocks and then one row in and then just placing a redstone torch under each of those trap doors just there and then by doing that you should end up with something like this and then after that i'm gonna grab myself some string i'm just gonna place two string on either side of each chest freezer and then i'm gonna grab myself some gray carpet and i'm just gonna place this on top of the string and this is gonna act like little doors for it so before I can start stocking up the supermarket, I need to get the storage room done as well. So for these storage shelves, I'm going to grab myself some more light grey concrete. And I'm also going to need some iron trap doors. And then firstly, just coming over to this corner here, I'm going to place two light grey concrete just there. And I'm just going to send this up so it's six high in total. And I'm going to leave a gap of three and extend this up as well. And then leaving a gap of two, I'm going to place another two light grey concrete just there. I'm just going to repeat this another three times leaving a gap or two in between them i'm just going to add another three on the other side there and then i'm just going to extend all these points up so they're six high in total and then once this has all been done with some iron trap doors firstly i'm just going to place one lot just there and then leaving a gap of one i'm going to place another lot so i should be able to get three shelves just there i'm just going to repeat this for the rest of these other sections And then to stock this storage room up, I'm going to grab myself some barrels. And then I'm just going to randomly place these on each of these shelves. And that will complete our storage area just here. So now it's time to add loads of different foods to our grocery store. So firstly, I'm going to be using some custom heads. And as you can see, I've got quite a few here. Just of loads of different food items. All the links to these heads will be in the description. And if you don't know how to get these custom heads, I will show you now. So if you head over to minecraftheads.com, there are loads of custom heads to choose from. So you just type in what you're searching for. And as you can see, there will be loads of heads you can choose from here. And if you choose your one and then copy one of the commands for the correct version, paste it in a command block and that will give you your head. Happy days. So firstly, for the fruit section here, firstly, with a banana head, I'm going to place one just on top of that composter there and then next to that i'm going to add a pear and then on top here i'm going to add a apple and a orange and then coming to the other side i'm also going to add myself a mango and some grapes 
just there. So for this, let's add a potato there. And the next to that is add some carrots. And then just on top, I'm going to add some corn and an onion just there. And then moving around, I'm going to add a tomato and some broccoli there. So next up for the frozen food section. So firstly, I've got some fries here. Let's just add four of them in this chest freezer here. And the next, let's add some frozen veg just there. And then in this one, let's add some fried chicken. And then for the meat area here, I've got some raw chicken heads. I'm just going to place six of these along just there. And then I've got a ground beef head as well. And I'm going to place four of these there as well. And then for the bakery section, oh, I just realized with some shit wood, I need to add one more pillar just in the middle there. So for this bakery section, I've got some lovely cookies here. And I'm just going to place two of these on each shelf to begin with. And then on the other side, I'm going to grab myself a cake. And then stock these shelves up with some of this. And then just by adding these heads, that makes our supermarket look that like little bit more colourful and, well, not empty. And if some of you guys are playing on Bedrock where you can't access custom heads, what you can do instead of these heads, for example, on this fruit and veg stand, you could get an item frame and then just get some different kind of vegetables. So instead of what you can do with some item frames, you can place some on top here and then just add your items there instead if you're on Bedrock. The same concept goes for these areas as well. And the next up, I'm going to stock all of these shelves up with some more items using some invisible item frames. So for this, I'm going to use this command just here. This will be in the description below. But then if I just paste that in, that'll give me a very special item frame, which is very magical in its ways. Because for example, on this shelf, firstly, if I just place these item frames on here, as you can see, you can't see anything. But for example, for this first shelf, let's grab some cookies. And as I place them in these item frames, it looks like that the cookies are just on the shelf. So I think that's quite a cool effect. So I'm just going to do this for a lot of the other shelves here. So this is going to be our little snack section here. So with some more item frames, let's just add these on the stairs. Just here. And then firstly, for maybe like some popcorn, I think I'm going to use some pumpkin seeds for this. And then let's just place these just there. And then for another snack, Let's add some glow berries and let's just add those just there. And the next up for our drinks section just here. So let's add more of these item frames. And then for this, I'm going to grab myself a water bottle and also a potion of fire resistance and a potion of harming. And then let's add some water here to begin with. And the next is add some fire resistance, which kind of looks like orange juice. So I think that's quite a nice one to use. And then also on the end, a potion of harming to look unlike black current just there and the next up for our fridge section so again with some more of these item frames i'm going to place these on each of the quartz slabs and then i'm going to grab myself some raw cod and some raw salmon and i'm also going to get myself some buckets of milk and then on this first fridge i'm going to fill this with some cod and then for the second one let's add some salmon and then for the third and fourth one i'm going to fill this up with some milk and the next up, we need to fill up these freezers here. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some lovely baked potatoes, some lovely rabbit strew, and let's also grab ourselves some pumpkin pie. So for this, I'm just going to temporarily destroy one block just there. And then I'm just going to add the item frames just on these stairs just there. So I'm just going to do that for each of these freezers. And then firstly, with some baked potatoes, let's add some of these in our first freezer just here. And then let's add some rabbit stew. And let's also add some pumpkin pie. And then let's just close these freezers just there. And the next up, let's add some extra vegetables on these shelves here. So again, let's add some more of these item frames. And then I'm going to grab myself a potato, a carrot, some beetroot, get myself a watermelon, just get an apple, and a golden apple as well. And then firstly, I'm going to stock these first four with some potatoes. Then let's do some carrot, and then some beetroot, and then a melon slice, and then an apple, and then some golden apples as well. And then moving around to our final section here, again, more item frames. And this is going to be our bakery section. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some wheat. I'm going to grab myself some eggs. 
I'm also going to grab myself some sugar here. And then for the first shelf, I'm going to add some wheat. And then some sugar for the second one. And then some eggs. For the last one, just there. And then one final detail just to finish off these tills. I'm going to grab myself an oak sign. I'm going to place one sign just in the ends just there. And then I'm just going to place some along the black wall. Just here as well. So with our grocery store all stocked up with loads of lovely foods here. That is our build all complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery store tutorial. And as always, if you did enjoy, please smash that like button as I would really appreciate that. And also, if you want to join a building community, then my Discord link is below if you just want to hang out with us in the server. But yeah, so thanks for watching and have a good day.